So you're not trying to play with us, bro. First rule to getting better is showing up. And he also went on to say today, when trying to do something special, we would like all our guys here. That's foul. Super foul. I'm, and I'm stunned because typically or normally in, in the NFL, players do not discuss other players' money Get your and hand out of my contract pocket. situations. It makes even less sense. Not that it, it, if this were a, a different sport uh, that it would be more acceptable, but the fact that it's the NFL, the fact that he's a running back, and if anybody has to look out for themselves and their financial situation, it's somebody like Le'Veon, or Le'Veon Bell. Okay, so... I'm just really surprised that he would sort of break what is a uh, the code, uh, the code in, in the NFL I'm to come after a teammate. I'm surprised a teammate has pulled him aside and said, hey, man, not watch cool. What, watch what not you're cool. doing. Because it wasn't that long ago when he was unhappy about him being underpaid, and there were rumors about him being selfish and wanting more targets and pouting because he wasn't getting it. Now that you got $19 million guaranteed and $68 million extension, you management now? Like, Le'Veon Bell does not need to be at camp. He's not breaking any rules. He's not subject to fines. I get tired of people saying somebody's a holdout when they're a rookie or a franchise player and him signed their tender, they're not under contract, so therefore you're not holding out. And if, and if Antonio Brown really wants to stick his nose in the situation, what he should say is, hey, take care of my guy. Right. Management, break him off. Pay him like he wants to be paid, but get him in here. It takes two to come to an agreement, and the Steelers are just as complicit in Le'Veon Bell as to why they haven't signed a contract well, it's, yet. It's interesting to me because uh, Antonio Brown, why is he always the dude, or seemingly he has a pattern of doing things without thinking? Going back to the issue in the locker room where he decided to, that was a perfect time for him to be on social media and wind up uh, causing his head coach, Mike Tomlin, to have to answer some questions that he Even didn't want Even if you to. want to pressure him privately, why publicly? Yeah. That's the thing. Why post it on Instagram? You know, you Privately, know fans publicly, are, it's still not his place. Fans are going to already be against play. They always, they, not always, they're mostly pro management anyway. They're already going to think he's being greedy, wanting to be the number one running back and number two receiver type contract. Not cool. 